This week on Crime Watch Raw, we have loan sharks vandalizing a store, the commotions at the Malaysian Indian Congress and Dongzhong, an update from the Kuang petrol station incident before we wrap up the week with what is expected from the up and coming bursting rally. This was where an innocent pharmacy store was splashed with red paint and glass walls broken by loan sharks a few nights ago. They came unannounced as early as 8pm, not fearful of being caught and started smashing the glass display with a baseball bat, all captured on CCTV. What is worse is the store's owner didn't even know his former business partner was a gambler and accumulated debts of hundred thousands of ringgit. Kung had to sought help from MCA as this is the third time Alongs have visited his store. Fung's former business partner had his parents pay 800,000 ringgit to Alongs before this, but it did not end there. Fung has lodged a police report, but will this be the end? We do not know. There will always be differing opinions wherever we are, but to what extent are people, especially political parties, bringing their voices too. Let's take a look at the Malaysian Indian Congress presidential nomination announcement on August 21st. What was supposed to be a peaceful gathering between members unfolded to a screaming match between two factions followed by a series of violent acts. A brawl erupted during the MIC nominations when supporters of former President Datuk Suri G. Palanival were blocked from entering the venue. It was reported that supporters of Datuk Suri Dr. S. Subramaniam threw stones, plastic bottles and sticks at the opposing faction. This led to an ugly shout-out and Palanibal supporters retaliated by throwing the items back at those behind the MIC headquarters gates. The incident continued for about 15 minutes until MIC Vice President Dato S. Sodinathan managed to convince Palanival supporters to leave. While the MIC clamour were a good mix of crowd, old uncles were caught screaming against each other on camera at the United Chinese School Committees Association, also known as Dongzong's Extraordinary General Meeting on August 24th. Supporters of Dr. Yap Sing Tian entered the building after they lifted up the gate of the main entrance, walked through the hallway and tried to negotiate with policemen to enter the meeting. They were later seen shouting derogatory remarks towards committee members that were leaving the meeting. Some were also seen hitting the exiting cars and was later calmed down by their leaders. Crimes come in many forms. Some are intentional while some are accidents. What was a normal day for 70-year-old retiree Muhammad Nasir Manas became tragic when a freak accident left him with broken ribs and thigh bone. Crime Watch reporter Desiree Gasper travelled all the way to Kluang, Johor to speak to the victim and revisit the location of the accident. It was exactly at this spot where 70-year-old Mohammad Nasir Manas was knocked down by a woman. He was just filling up petrol for his car when the woman who was at the station behind us rammed into him. Authorities say that her slipper got stuck in the pedal of the car and he rolled over three times before landing at that area. You can see that workers are there currently trying to fix the damage there. We tracked down the victim and managed to speak to him and his wife at the Kluang Utama Specialist Hospital. Darah pun tak ada keluar. Apa yang Pak Cik fikirkan? Ah, ha, fikir ingatlah mati saja. Bila tengok video saya tengok saya punya terperanjat suami saya kena langgar macam bunyi apa ke berdegup berdegup berdegup. Abi menantu saya kata, ya Allah kesian abah mak tu kelangkau macam sekali. Mak memang tak nampak aja. Mak tak tahu apa yang terjadi kat situ. The CCTV footage got thousands of hits, with people shocked at how callous the driver was. Many lambasted the lady driver for not wearing suitable shoes or even acting fast by veering her vehicle away from the victim. The 
Lepas tu perempuan tu ada tak datang jumpa Pak Cik? Perempuan tu tak datang. Bapa dia datang. Dia ada datang dua kali jumpa saya. Dia kata isteri dengan anak takut nak jumpa dia. Saya kata dia tak, saya tak ada usia orang. Dia sudah aksiden. Aksiden lah. Lepas dia saya minta maaf lah. Saya kata saya maaf tak ada hal. Pak Cik, you're not angry at the... No, no, no. no. I'm very patient. Take it lah. Whatever I happen, take it. Ya, kita punya rib saja ada uh, crack lah. And this one, and the, the broken bone. Itu je. Very brave, Pak Cik. <laughs> you just say itu saja, Pak <laughs> While nobody died in this incident, it is a lesson to other drivers to always be cautious and ensure that proper attire, including proper footwear, is worn. Thank you, Desiree, for an update of Muhammad Nasir's condition. Let's hope he will have a safe recovery. When it comes to safety, we have to thank the authorities for doing their best to protect us. Fire and Rescue Department personnel pulled a suicidal man back from the edge of an eight-storey drop after trying to cork him down for over last two hours last Friday. The 23-year-old man was said to have climbed out of his bedroom window on the 11th floor of the Kananga apartment and then climbed down to the 8th floor from the outside. It took five people to restrain the frantic man and he was later sent to Sedang Hospital for treatment. Police has crippled one of the largest drug rings in the northern region with the arrest of five syndicate members and seized 20 million ringgit worth of drugs. Three locals and two Iranian chemists, aged 24 and 27, were nabbed during the operation. Bukit Aman's Special Tactical Intelligent Narcotics Group, Sting, arrested 81 addicts, aged between 15 to 57, in Pokok Sena, Kedah. Authorities said the seized drugs included heroin, shabu, cannabis, ketum leaves and two litres of ketum juice. The operation was launched after nearly two months of observation, mainly around Pukot Sena and carried out based on public information. The Marine Police have seized boxes of liquor with unpaid duties amounting to 400,000 ringgit from a barter trade boat near Welk Kuei, Penang. Police patrol boat managed to intercept Zagua Pekasa 3 before uncovering 430 boxes of liquor kept in a compartment. Authorities said five Indonesians aged between 40 and 50 were nabbed in the 4pm incident on last Friday. Pirates fired their M16 rifles in the air as a warning to the crew of a 1.5 million ringgit fishing vessel before hijacking it last Saturday, 40 nautical miles west of Langkawi waters. Authorities said the pirates took away the handphones of the five crew members and forced them to board the boat the pirates had arrived in. However, the pirates abandoned the fishing vessel in Satun, Thailand, 70 km away the hijacking incident. The Thai Marine Police retrieved the fishing vessel on Monday. A classic Volkswagen Beetle used to promote the upcoming Versailles 4.0 rally was splashed with red paint on Saturday. Car owner Thomas Fan found his car being vandalised after parking it at Taman Molik Johor during a birthday tour in the state. In another vandal incident on Wednesday, a CCTV showed a young man spray-painted hashtag 4.0 on murals, shop houses and cars in Georgetown, Penang. Georgetown OCPD Assistant Commissioner Mior Faridala Trash Wahid says police have identified a suspect in the incident. Stay tuned for our next special edition on the birthday rally happening this weekend. That is all the update that we have for you on this week's Crime Watch Raw, and I'm Christine Chia signing off. 